Hey everyone, welcome back to Screaming at a Joypad, and today I'm going to journey into the back rooms for the first time with the back rooms horror game, the free edition on Steam. Uh, old moist yellow carpets and yellow wallpapers and fluorescent lights and endless, endless corridors await as I've never been in the back rooms before, but the concept is basically if you were to clip through reality somehow you would end up in quote the back rooms and that spawned a lot of fantastic and terrible video games and I'm not sure, quite sure where this one sits but we'll find out together so if you like the video like it, if you dislike it dislike it, but let's not waste any more time, let's hop straight in. Right, so I now know roughly how it works, so just basically run, right, I just gotta get, remember who I am, is that the actual time, no, total time, there's no, I don't think there's a strat, I think it's just running, <laughs> oi, I have the right to be violently murdered like a proper victim, yeah, I came here for a monster, not a fucking walking simulator, Still can't get over how, uh, <laughs> I thought you ended up with the reality end of a speed run. Um, <laughs> that's very true. You end up flying through the air. Uh, I still can't believe how similar this is to my first setup room. Jesus. If you go back and look at old episodes of the Godcast, right, you can see yellow paint. It's shockingly similar. I have infinite sprint. I've, I have infinite sprint. Get fucked, wherever you are, get fucked. Let's go through doors. Yum. I wonder if there is like a, a strategy, like if you have to do certain things or not, or if you just have to get a certain distance without dying. Back in joypad days, or what was the handle before? Uh, ooh, that's, that's an excellent shout, that's an excellent question, cameras. I don't remember. <laughs> I was screaming joypad, um, uh, I was Slim Gamer Mike for a while, uh, cause I worked for slimgamer.com. What was I before that? Oh no, after that, I was that Mike Smith, that underscore Mike underscore Smith. I've changed my name a lot, I gotta be honest with you. I'm kinda, I'm, I'm settled on Peripheral Mike now, which I fucking should be because my company's called Peripheral Media, so I'm, I can't change it. And that's tangentially linked to Screaming at Joypad, so. I only remember Screaming Joypad. Yeah, that's that's the one from GOG, to be honest with you. No, thanks, not today. I'm not sure if Capmus is pre-GOG, to be honest with you. I can't remember. Mmm. Mmm. Wait a. Wait a. Get that draw distance. <laughs> Maybe I misremembered. I think I am not pre gog. Oh, that's fair enough. Oh. <laughs> I'm, bra I'm breaking the game. Remember who I am and where I came from. I haven't done that yet. <laughs> uh, so I think I might be running faster than the game can draw. I think we. <laughs> fuck. I think we may have found a problem. What? Get stuffed. Yeah. <laughs> get shut up. <laughs> get absolutely shit on, game. No! Thank you! No! Don't want that, thank you! <laughs> it's so far away from me, I can't hear it. <sighs> I think I must be running faster than the game can process, because I don't think like, this is supposed to happen. I'm just using the built-in sprint. Uh, three, two, what? There we are. <laughs> oh, this isn't supposed to be happening. This is what happens when you give a software tester a video game. What do you, do you how dare you? How very dare you? Maybe you need a fast place or a faster SSD to load it quicker. Uh, remember who I am and where I came from. Go! I've remembered. I am Scooby Joypad. I am from Twitch.tv. <laughs> There's inky shit in coming out of the ceiling. Alright, mate. It's all gonna be Silent Hill. 
I like the way he said, oh, don't look at it. Don't look at what? There's nothing here. There's absolutely nothing here. There's some old man with a hacking cough in the background and someone who really doesn't like Mondays, other than me. You're running it spawns walls in your face. <laughs> It's trying to stop me. It's trying to control me. It can't control. It can't contain this gamer, gamerness. It's because I've had some sneak. That's the thing. I'm going. Oh, fuck off! <laughs> this is what happens when you have sneak. It affects your gameplay to the point where the game cannot handle it. Hashtag not sponsored. Although I am open for a sponsorship deal. Oh no, I died. Oh, fuck, fuck. Look at my. No, that's the steam overlay. <laughs> Ah! No clipping beneath the backrooms. Got my sassy pants on. 285. Oh, I bet we can make it to 300. Never look directly into lights. Why? All right, we got to try one more. Yearning for old moist carpets, said absolutely no one. You won't find out. I suppose you insta lose as soon as you look at it, so you never have to know what it is. Go, go, go. Yum. All right, let's let's just look down then, shall we? <laughs> let's never look directly into. Why can't I look directly into light? Now I just want to look directly into a light. I'm sorry. Now I'm. There is a sizzling noise. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Just death. <laughs> right. Got, got it. Don't look up. <laughs> Whee! And that should be a lesson, kids. Never stare directly at fluorescent lights. If you hear it, God help you. <laughs> I'm all for keeping the mystery alive in horror games, but I'm gonna need to know what it is. <laughs> right. Don't look, don't look up, peeps. Don't look up. This is Socially Awkward Simulator 2023. <laughs> I'm just going to navel gaze. I'm just going to look at my shoes. We're just going to figure our way through. They said I could interact with E. I'm not quite sure what I'm interacting with. Maybe if I ever interacted with something, that would help. Apparently, I'm not running faster than the game can compute now. <laughs> I'm just running as fast as the game can compute. At the minute, anyway. What's over here? Oh, nothing, of course. Let's go this way. Let's go a random way. Let's let's start taking more turns. I'm, I feel like I've been straight lining quite a lot. I feel like I've been... My lack of creativity is shining through in my gameplay ability, so... I'm just like, oh, I can go straight, so I'll go straight. Let's go this way. And now this way. And now this way. <laughs> he says, eventually just going in a straight line, just with more steps. This is a straight line, just with more, more instructions. There goes the Silent Hill alarm. Do I need to... Nope, that's... There we go. That's me loading my Steam overlay that I shouldn't have. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, a thud. No, thank you. Oh, God, I can't go that way. So many doors. What's through here? Let's go this way. <laughs> We've viewed a house once that looked like this. <laughs> Like a bungalow. I, I kid you not. <laughs> now I've seen it. <laughs> now it's reminded me. We've definitely viewed a house that looked very similar to this. Like lots of corridors, not a lot of rooms. <laughs> like it was so weird. 
we ended up looking at a lot of like what are we trying to do here? We're, uh, escape the back rooms, apparently. Um, this is what the, the game's all about, is escaping the back rooms. So we've gone over to 285 on the, the old distance meter. Oh, that, that noise was a bit closer. Let's go. No, I can't go that way. Um, but considering looking at the lights apparently kills you quicker, I'm going to not look at the lights. So we're going to see if we can survive longer. If I can get over 300, that's brilliant. I don't know if you can get over 300. I don't know if that's... There's a, a weird wibbly noise coming from somewhere. I kind of want to know where that's coming from. I also kind of don't at the same time. I want to look up, but I don't want to look up. <laughs> but I've never played a Backrooms game. I've I've heard a lot about the Backrooms. And I've never, never played... To the point where I think I took a photo a little while ago and put it on Discord. Where I was like, I was in a department store. And they had an, uh, a disused section. Which looked like the Backrooms. I'm aware of... Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, there we go. I'm aware of the the concepts but I'd never actually played one of the games so I thought I'd uh, I thought I'd just play one we've just played a um couple of other games as well which you can check out either on the vod or on the youtube channel on different videos but uh yeah I thought it'd be a nice introduction to the uh, to the backgrounds it's bringing back weird weird memories of oh, 225 nearly there weird memories of uh, an old house that I used to live in <laughs> can't go that way so is that us hearing it? Is that it? Is that the it that we keep hearing about? The thing crying? I don't. Let's go this way. Fuck it. Oh, that was a... A weird light on Oh! I don't know what that... This is the weird spooky noise syndrome in horror games. You hear a weird spooky noise, but you don't know what's caused it, you don't know where it's come from. Nope, that's, once again, not what I wanted to press. Fuck, one day I'll remember how to play video games, I swear to Christ. I don't know how to use a mouse and keyboard. Come on. Look. Well, where, whatever you are, I'd quite, oh yeah, you, whatever you are, come on, just come on, come on out to play. Kind of, kind of interested. I'm intrigued more than anything. So the law for the back rooms, basically, from what I understand, is you just have to escape by going deeper into the back rooms, right? What the, what the fuck? Person's got a real, real bad cough. Remember who I am and where I came from. Which does nothing, by the way. But, you know, it's a Mickey Mouse mechanic. It makes the player feel like they're in control. Oh, the floor. I don't like the floor moving. Still running at a pretty decent pace, though. 331! We made it! GG, everyone! GG! We made it past 300 by not looking up. <laughs> Moist carpet gang. <laughs> it's the worst thing I think I've ever said to my chat. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> oh, had I already made it the last time I checked? Oh, I completely missed it. <laughs> No, goodbye. I how how do you leave now then? Oh, Pisces. Oh, fucking run! You need to keep track of the real flow of time. Remember where you came from, and you need to feel at home in the back rooms. Eventually, you'll make it out. Well, I feel pretty homely right now. Well, that's, this is how my normal vision is when I take my glasses off. So. Keep going this way. Four, nearly 400. Gone the wrong way. Gone the wrong way. 
I'm just going to look straight down. Look straight down. Don't look up at any lights. Don't look at any lights. Keep reminding... 400! Oh, I'm such a gamer! <laughs> Can we get to five? That's the question. Don't... I don't think we'll be able to get to five. No, there we go. <laughs> Uh, uh, uh. It's that extra three or four meters. No clipping through the back rooms. I wonder if I just stand still. Oh no, I stood still last time, didn't I? And that didn't work. 470. What? Fuck, now you tell me. Checking your watch too often increases madness. So what if. Oh. Well, that was the Back Rooms Horror Game, the free edition on Steam. And it's all right. It's good. It's, I feel like I can smell this game, though, with all the musty carpet and moldy wallpaper and suspended ceiling. But it's given me a taste, and I think it's exactly what I expected. And it's a lot. It's basically a liminal space walking simulator with a bit of horror thrown in, which I'm, I'm appreciative of. I, I'm here for this. It's made me want to play more of the Backrooms game, so I might check those out in future. But anyway, if you like this video, please like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. And if you want to support the channel for free, you can subscribe to the Screaming at Joypad YouTube channel. But for now, stay safe, stay spooky, and I'll see you in the next one.